Alright guys, by now you should at least have a clearly understanding about how to use Express Handlebar built-in helpers, right? Well, today we're going to be talking about a different type of helper called each helper itself. Well, we're going to set, we're going to work on this on an entire route. So let's go ahead and get that done here. We're going to call this one uh, each slash helper, something like that. And then we're going to render our template here. We don't have a template yet. I'm going to go ahead and create one. Make sure it's located inside a view folder. So I'm going to just call this one contact.handlebars, right? And then here I'm just going to say something like welcome to the contact page. This is where we're going to be work with the helper that we saw earlier. Cool. And now I just need to render my template. What is my template name? It's called contact. So I just need to pass contact here. And if I of course run this app here just to show you guys cool and now I can head over what is my route what was it it was each helper so I can copy this and place it in here and there you go ladies and gentlemen oh, rest is not defined because I forgot to define it over here my bad cool and now let's try it again and there we go I got my welcome to the contact page this is where we're going to be working with the built-in helper called each all right, so let's take about, I'm gonna be sending some data down to this helper. Like I set up an object and I'm gonna send some data down to the contact helper here. And the data that I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send this people. And when we looked at this people itself, it's an array of items. It's, it's, it's an array that contains a lot of things inside of it. For example, we got the name, Peter, Sidrack, and so on. Now, when we head over to our custom uh, give me one quick second. Let me close this one here. Just leave the contact open. All right. When I head over my my contact handlebar itself, it's a helper. So I have to use pound each, the name of the helper, and then every helper needs to make sure that it's closed. There we go. I got each closing with the slash keyboard itself. Now remember, I'm setting the people as an array. So I'm gonna head over my contact page and look over the people, which I do each people. And that's technically how you kind of loop over an array or anything with the each helper itself. Now the question is, I'm looping over the array, but how do I get access to the item inside the array? Well, there are three ways that you can do that. The first one is by just using the this keyword. And this is going to refer to every single item that is inside this array. For example, James, Peter, Sidrak, and Marisa, and so on, by just using the this keyword. Let's see how this works. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got James, Peter, Sidrack, Marisa. Let's have them into a paragraph so they can go to the next line. Something more like this. How about that? Now, remember I said there was three ways that you can do that. That was This is the first way. Where the second way is by just using a period. Look at that. Period itself to refer to every single element that is inside the item. Similar with this keyword itself. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm still getting the same thing over and over. Now, remember, I said there is a third way. The third way is this: you can do as, and then you use this slash, slash, uh, and then you can kind of set up the value and the key itself. Now, the first one that you use is the value one. So you can replace the dot with the value, which gonna represent every single item within that array again. And as you guys can see, I got the same thing and over and over. Now the question is, what about the key itself? What is the key? Well, the key represents every single index that is coming in from that array. And what we mean by index is, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. What we mean by index is like this one stored at index 0, 1, 2, and so on. This is how it's referring to it. Let's check this out. Refresh. And as you guys can see, I got the zero, one, two, three, and so on. So by now, you guys should at least have an understanding how to loop over uh, an array itself and actually, you know, get the value inside of it, either using three different ways. Either you can use this way or you can use uh, you can use the this keyword itself. Let's see if we can kind of do it here and we can do uh, this keyword, you'll get the same result as just getting the item or you can just use the dot itself. All right. Now the question is, what about what about if I wanted to loop over 
an object this is an array but what about I wanted to loop over an object well let's actually see how we can do that itself let's bring some data here again there you go I'm gonna bring some data so I have something called user and then I have username and age and so on and so on right well if I want to loop over the user how can I do that with the each statement it's with the each helper itself it's technically the same way except instead of looping over the people array I'm gonna loop over the object which in our case it's equal to user itself now the question is what is the dot keyword or what is the this keyword over here well the this keyword over here is referring to the value that is that is attaching to every single key within this object for example this keyword is referring to Axmi Sterling as the value and it's referring to 20 as the value and referring to whatever this phone number is as as the value and if we look over here as you guys can see I now have Axmi and 20 in, 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 in the phone number itself now of course the that itself is going to be the same thing because these are the three ways that we can access to it but what if we, we see the same value over but what if we wanted to access the key itself for example username phone age what if we wanted to access this key as well well we can do this by using something built in with an express end of itself called key we just use it by dollars or by um, uh, what is I don't even know what this is but anyway you guys you got the idea and you just do key what this is gonna refer to this is gonna refer to every single key that is over here and as you guys can see now I have username age phone number and different things now of course there is a better way to do it you can use the as you know you can use the as my I believe I'm hoping this is it I chose I think it's this value and then you do key now what we can do is this key itself is representing to every single uh, key that is inside the, the the object itself like username the same thing over and over for example we can do uh, the key here and then we can say all right we're gonna pass it the value that is attached to every single key and if we look over this we have something like username axiome age and so on and so on well ladies and gentlemen this is how you look over to an object uh, with using the built-in helper called H. Now the question is, what if I wanted to kind of loop over and over and over? Like, what if I wanted to kind of have a nested loop? Well, this is gonna be interesting, and we're gonna do this right now as well. Let's actually go ahead and grab some data that we had, and this data that we have, it's it's something called list, and this is our data here. We have list here within this list this is an array of object like look at that this is an array of object and here is our object and every single object that we have they all have a key called items and item itself it's an array so what we trying to achieve is loop over that array and then get every single object and within every single object once we get the items which is itself an array so we're gonna try to loop over that array and display them as expected cool this sounds confusing this sounds complicated but guys bear with me we're gonna do this together and we're gonna use something else to help us a little bit with the debugging process of where we are in the step all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna start all over I'm actually go yeah I'm gonna start all over here just for you guys to see so built-in helper called each and then we need to close our helper with slash each there we go and what are we looping over we're looping over the list itself so we can copy the list there we go now once we loop over the each remember we can access by this or by using the dot or by you know going a little bit further and doing this right well the question is now we have no idea what this is because this is a little bit complicated and for you guys you might be like okay is this referring to the object or is this referring to the item like what is this in this case well if we don't know and we would like to see handleball offers something called log it's a built-in helper itself and the way we use log is we use log over whatever we would like to appear in our console log on the server side here now what I'm doing is I'm logging what is inside of this keyword itself let's see what happened when I refresh the page and then go over here you see 
the this keyword is actually referring to every single object that is inside the first array. So it's referring to this object, referring to this object. What I want to do is I want to go inside the item and get this value. So I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to actually loop over that item. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to have a note or not each, which is pound each. All right. There we go. Now, the whole reason I do this is, is because this is referring to the object itself, which means if I want to get the item, I just need to do this, that items, and I will go ahead and get access to the array itself. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm currently looping through every single of this array right here. Now, remember, I'm looping over it here. How do I get access to this value? Well, the same way by just using the this keyword. Now, this is going to refer to this for each. Now, once again, this might sound confusing. You might be sterling. What this and this and this like, how do I know which one is is this and this? Well, there is a better way to do it. But before we go any further, let's see if this is working as expected. Let's see. And there you guys go. As you guys can see, we see we see the mango and then we see every single element inside of it. Uh, of course, we can kind of break this down into a new all uh, just like having a line to separate them and see this is the first array and this is the second array. Well, what is the best way that we can do that? Well, the best way that we can do that is we can instead of using the this keyword, we can give them a default variable name, just like we were using earlier. We can call this one uh, Y value and then we can call this one Y key and then we just use this value here is equal to you know this keyword now what this is gonna be doing is this is gonna refer to any single value that is inside the item array and let's try this one out and refresh it and there we go ladies and gentlemen we still got the same behavior as as you guys can see here now uh of course we can kind of go over a little bit here to kind of we name this this keyword to something else we can call this one as well we can call this one x value in X key and then instead of looping over the this keyword we can look over as just you know X value right here so this is referring to any single value that is inside the list of uh, the list array let's try this out and ladies and gentlemen we still get the same thing over and over well this is really great this is fantastic as you guys can see things that you know on um, the each statement itself can do but what there's something else I wanted to show you guys you see going a little bit deeper inside the array for example x value that item the way you can go deeper there's an easy way you can access it instead of just doing that you can also do slash what that might sound what you can do slash well yes you can and let's see if this works and ladies and gentlemen, they're still working as expected. So the bottom line is the way you go and access uh, things inside, further inside the, the object itself, is either by doing that, or you can do slash to go deeper and access certain things inside this array. And that's everything I had for you guys. We go in the each, uh, the each built-in middleware. We're gonna take a look at uh, partials with, 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 with Express in the box.